the Shmino is not only one of the most effective flies to tie, it's one of the easiest flies to tie. And if, when I give fly tying instruction, I usually start out the classes with a Shmino. Start out with a jam knot, like we do with almost all flies. And then we get a nice puffy piece of marabou. Put that on top and wrap that on. Clip the tail the same length as the shank of the hook. And clip the quill so we have enough room in front for the eyes. The next step is to attach the crystal chenille. And I like the pearl color. I do use the ice chenille once in a while, but I think the pearl is more effective for catching fish with. And I know approximately how much I'm going to use, so I clip it off and attach the eyes, the large monofilament eyes, with a figure eight, series of figure eights. So they're securely fastened. Make a couple of wraps in front of the eyes. And wrap the chenille forward on the body. Fairly tight wraps. So it doesn't get too skinny and so the we don't have gaps in it. And then one figure eight around the eyes with the chenille. A couple of more figure eights with the thread and some wraps in front. And I use my half hitch tool here to tie it off with. It's much easier than a whip finisher. Finished, except for clipping off the excess chenille. And that's the finished Schmino. It's got 56 species of fish. I invented it for snook. But it has caught every kind of saltwater game fish here. And the good numbers of striped bass. It is deadly on the beaches when the water is clear and the snook is moving. Now, do you ever tie this weedless? I've tied it weedless occasionally, but generally not. I don't think you need it much. How about adding weight to it? I do add weight to it sometimes. For if I'm using it for sea trout in the wintertime, I want to get down. I wrap the hook shank with some non-lead wire first. How about other color variations? I tried other color variations in the beginning. The only one that I've really stuck with is occasionally tying in a, in a root beer color with a tan tail to use for redfish, and that seems to be pretty effective. Although, I still think the pearl color is the most effective, even for the redfish. Okay. Always size 2? Almost always a size 2. If I'm tying for striped bass to use up north, though, I'll use a 1-aught or a 2-aught. 